Hey and welcome to the Tushar show. I'm your host Tushar and today is a very special episode. It's going to be called a fresh start. It's a fresh start because I have realized that the podcast is something I'm doing for myself too. And it's something I need to do for myself because it's a calling for me. Lately, I have been inconsistent with my podcast. And uh, to be true, I never really believed in my potential and my podcast. I never really believed in it so much. Or you could say I undervalued myself. And this was because of my insecurities about who i am and what i'm doing and where i belong and questions like whether something like this can even be accepted among a peer group of my age so in the search for this acceptance i tried all sorts of things and uh, I'm going to be frank with you about all of this in the coming episodes and maybe tell you stories about my acceptance of such a medium and why I feel this can inspire people but I'm here to tell you that I'm not going to go away and uh, I'm speaking to you my friend who has a dream and may be feeling stuck somewhere and is just waiting for that signal of a go ahead or is in need of someone to count on i'm announcing to the world on 10th of may 2019 5:25 p.m. Indian standard time that I am the one I am that one who you can count on who's going to go ahead and chase his dreams I'm going to do it I'm going to do it for you so that you believe in yourself not to show you that I can do it it's taken me a journey to get myself to get back to the state of owning my dream and a lot of us have forgotten to own our dream so this is going to be a very candid podcast i think one of the most candid podcasts out there there's going to be nothing fancy there's the the format of promotion is going to be the same it's going to be a notification by the official sponsor <laughs> of the show at the rate the underscore tushar times the underscore tushar underscore times on instagram you can search it the tushar times and uh, the tushar broadcasting company which is th- the company which produces this podcast i made it yep so i'm just having fun i'm going to do this candidly and i'm going to be there for you and uh, i think i will share the story of i'll quickly share the story of why i stopped how i stopped and why it started again if you've been a regular guest of this podcast you may know that i had a whatsapp group on which i used to podcast for my friends that was a class group in uh, in my school in delhi which is the capital of india for my international guests right now i reside in bangalore and that school uh, i made it for my class f- class groups because i i was uh i was hearing a lot of positive information on the net and i started getting ideas and then i had a calling i had a calling to speak from the within it it 
it was of course after i saw a lot of videos of people like brendan whom i owe it to actually for being uh, present online and helping the world out helping me out indirectly or directly then there was robin sharma then there were a lot of people like les brown there was jim ron there were a lot of people involved in this who put the content up and their teams and there it wasn't just one person but it was a team of people who helped me uh come to such a place who helped me realize my calling and i owe it to them to continue and spread the word and spread the message of living positively that's why i started the good vibes mission and i started a podcast called the good vibes podcast i started a community called the good vibes community which is a whatsapp group basically and after all of that i didn't believe in my potential i i i spoke a lot i didn't get a lot of feedback from people and uh, that led me to think nobody wants to hear things like this but i continued regardless and i completed more than 100 in 10 episodes and more and that that's when i put all this content i started putting it online and that happened to be the good vibes podcast so to make it really clear for you i had a calling i started a podcast of my own and i used to put audio clips on a whatsapp group and on this whatsapp group i didn't get too much feedback for the podcast that i gave occasionally people would give in thumbs up and good job but that those were mostly my parents and a few friends so that got me to believe that this kind of content didn't want to be heard but i kept going on so this is the story till now and at the same time i think i like doing it and something external kept pushing me to do it i i it was like i wanted to challenge myself to be consistent and that's why for 33 weeks i was consistent and i finished 100 podcasts so i hope the story is clear till now so i'm nearing my 70th or 80th or 90th episode and we decide to launch this podcast on itunes and the launch story is also a pretty good story i mean it was a struggle to kind of convince my father because we were paying in us dollars to host a website at that time and we didn't know better and we we actually didn't know that it costed so much and so after publishing the podcasts on itunes we waited for maybe one year and i suddenly stopped podcasting i joined college and i didn't know how to convince people to listen to my podcast i didn't know how to uh tell them that i am interested in changing lives i'm interested in uh pursuing such a mission i <laughs> am interested in changing the world i am a dreamer and so are you and i want to help you help me i want i want to change the world i couldn't convince anybody i could maybe generate a spur i could make people happy i could make people laugh what i really wanted them to do was to listen to my podcast and that was the toughest thing in the whole world because i really didn't believe that my podcast had any potential i i thought that my podcast was uh something that i just did whereas it was the essence of me so it's like you're you're you are under you're kind of ignoring such a crucial aspect of you and that's what led to a lot of suffering within me i didn't own the fact that i was a podcaster and i felt insecure about it i felt insecure when people didn't regard me as a podcaster or i felt insecure when people didn't actually hear my podcast and i didn't want them to hear my podcast because i didn't know how i sounded to them and i didn't want to hear their feedback and i didn't want to 
really understand what good meant to them. I didn't want to know that. How was the podcast? It was good. I liked it. What does that really mean? Did it did it really impact you? Did it make a difference in your life? Did your thoughts change? Did you feel like doing something? I wanted to know the answers to everything. But I was too I am too afraid to ask. I am too afraid to know whether this is really impacting you. And that was the story till then that's why i quit podcasting i said i can't do this anymore because i am too scared of the world and that's when there's this quote by eric uh he was he was a fellow speaker at mind valley and he said that you're not afraid of what you can't do but you're afraid of your true potential the true light within you i'm paraphrasing his quote but that was true that is so true and despite the fact that i'm still afraid of feedback and uh maybe harsh criticism and all the internet gossip and the gossip of my friends and what people think and their judgments I may still have all of that but I'm here and I'm speaking and I'm going to do it again and again and again and the judgments the judgment fear will probably always remain forever I think I think no one can take it away but it's something that you just keep paying less and less attention to and it's something that gradually you don't care about and it's something that changes into something else so i guess that was one big reason i stopped it was in college and uh, i told you the main reason and then there was another reason where i felt i was being too too much of someone else in the sense i had heard so many videos of a motivational speaker and i felt that i was actually becoming him i was not being tushar i was imitating a motivational speaker so it's like if you can imitate your friends i was imitating him and that is why i didn't want to do that and uh that's why i changed the name of my podcast i made a new podcast called the tushar show so i can i can be tushar so that i can talk to you during my sad times i can talk to you during my happy times so that i can just talk to you and be candid with you and you know really be tushar because that's the easiest thing to do and the toughest thing to do it's very difficult to keep up a spirit of being hyper energetic when you probably just want to be you and i realized that because i was trying to be hyper energetic during a time of deep depression inside me and that caused a lot of mental breakdown to me i was heartbroken and uh, i'm not saying this to gain the attention of the person who broke my heart or anything but it's a true story and it's just for the general audience so that you can relate to this and just see that i'm human too i was heartbroken and i was acting like nothing had happened and i was trying to be the hero of podcasting and i was trying to be the hero of uh whatever i was doing and those were all the previous podcasts at least for the last 3 4 months i was working from a state of ego and i'm glad to share with you that i have been able to shed that ego or at least observe it to know that 
I can speak with an open and vulnerable heart and I can love more than ever. So there, there is a lot of love and joy to be spread and I'm so glad you're here. This is going to be a fresh start. There's going to be no intro. There's going to be no outro. This is just going to be called the Tushar show. <laughs> I may do stupid things on the show. I may decide to be new people. I may decide to interview myself. I may decide to be a male co-host and a female co-host. I've been having so many great ideas. But this is going to be the Tushar show. This is going to be my show. And I'm going to do it. And this is going to be the best thing that ever happened to this show. So what's going to happen to the Good Vibes podcast? I don't know. It may continue. It may not because I may not feel like doing it. What will happen to the Tushar Times? That's a project I'm very, very passionate about. So please support my channel on Instagram at the rate the underscore Tushar underscore times. Just type out the Tushar Times. It's the most popular Instagram newspaper because that's the only Instagram newspaper in the world. It's a one, uh, what? It's a one in a million kind of idea, and that's the best thing you'll ever see. And please go and subscribe and like all the thirty. 31, 32 posts that's are, that are put up over there. You can... <laughs> I am feeling so relieved after after this podcast because it, it is a fresh start. It is a fresh start. And... And... Uh, yep, my mother just peeked into my room because I was laughing too loudly. So, yeah, you can uh, subscribe to the Tushar Times. That's the official sponsor of this podcast. The other official sponsor is the Tushar Broadcasting Company. Tushar has two A's, so it's T-U-S-H-A-A-R. You can also search for the Tushar Broadcasting Company, which will update you with a notification before the release or after the release of every new podcast. I think that's all I have to say. I am living a pretty non-social media life. So it's my sister who is handling the accounts. And uh, she'll be processing requests and maybe emails towards me. The email address for the Tushar Show is the Tushar Show at the rate gmail.com. If there are any changes of any sort, I'll let you know. But let's get this rolling. This is the Tushar Show. I hope you enjoyed yourself today. I'm going to meet you again on the 14th, the 14th of May 2019. It's going to be a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday show. It's going to be amazing. Let me catch you on the 14th. See you until then.